Shakila, Shakila, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Shakila, Shakila, what can you do? Do something for us. Come everybody stand now. And we can do, we do stand. And we can do, we do. Education is at the foundation of lifting people out of poverty. And the basic school that these children were living in was nothing more than a shed or a shack. And you had anywhere between 25 and 40 children packed into a tiny room. The school it has a lot of needs. The structure and financial needs also. But whenever it's rain, it leaks heavily and we have to put the children into there at the corner of the school for them to be safe. We came here and we saw the need of the school at McCook's Pen, the High House, and it was beyond our imagination that so many children were cramped into such a little room, basically, with such poor facilities. No, we're going to talk about things that we can do. <laughs> Today, Thanks to what Aid for World Hope has done, the children have this beautiful, large school that has plenty of room for all the children. They have three beautiful classrooms. We have a kitchen, bathrooms, and a place for the children if they need a sick area. We're also going to be having a computer lab as well as a dining area. And in the words of the community, this is nothing short than a dream that has come true for them. It's, it's truly a miracle, you know, to see how God worked. It showed us the need, and then we came back and we, we told our friends and family members and anyone about the need, and they were so generous in helping us. Then to come here and actually see the beauty of this school and the blessing it's going to be to this community. What they've done here today, or what has been done in the last few months to be here today, is a thousand percent turnaround from where these these kids and the, the teachers and came from to where they are right now. We are so excited for everyone. I hope this community can grow and get smarter and be good people. To the donors, I'm thanking all of you very much for your help, for your concern, and I love you and I will always pray for you. Continue to do, do what you can do for God and for the children. God bless you. If, if you could be here, to get the hugs, to hear the thank yous, and uh, to see the tears of joy in these people's faces and eyes and the little children, that you've given them a future, you've given them a chance.